Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Switch Ports video. Amazing news today. It's been out for a little bit, and you guys can stop telling me about it in the comments. But we finally, 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 finally have a release date for at least some of the Switch Ports. We have release dates for the uh, FNAF 1, 2, and 3 games on the Switch. They're on the eShop right now, um, and yeah, we're gonna see the description, because some of them have changed, surprisingly. They've also got some new artwork, some new screenshots that we can look at, and of course, the price and the release dates themselves. So, let's not waste any more time, and let's see just exactly what these ports have planned for us. I never have a good segue into the rest of the video. Starting off with FNAF 1, immediately you can see the amazing banner and icon that you'll get when you get the game. This, I'm guessing, is, you know, a little icon for all those non-Switch users, you don't know what I'm talking about. But, you know, whenever you go and start up a game, this little icon and you click on it. I'm guessing that's what this is gonna be. So, Five Nights at Freddy's Nintendo Switch, teen for everyone, of course. Eight dollars, well, seven ninety-nine if you want to be exact. And then, November 29th, 2019. That's really not that far away, if, you, if I'm being honest. It's really not that far away. Then we got some great screenshots. The, uh, the problem with the FNAF 1 and 2 screenshots is that they don't actually show any controls. The only ones that show buttons in the game are the FNAF 3 screenshots. So th those are the screenshots. We're not going to go in-depth because, again, there's, there's no controls to look at. And you may be thinking, well, how am I going to play if there are no controls? Well, scrolling down a little farther, we can see that you can play FNAF 1, 2, and 3 in TV mode, tabletop mode, and handheld mode. So they're probably playing in handheld mode right now. Just Actually, no, it's probably tabletop, because they don't... I, I don't know. Uh, do they say... I'm, I'm sure you can use touch. Touch controls. I'm guessing that's why there's no buttons on there. Just like the... um the mobile ports. Then we got all the boring stuff like number of players 1, file size 220 man, 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 bytes, category simulation strategy, click team to click team. Uh, it's weird, Scott's not on here, which is interesting, but um, I mean click team did port it over, so I guess that makes sense, but I don't know, I feel like Scott should be there. Save data cloud, of course, you know, all the, all the good stuff. So, the description. It's time to start your new summer job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I, th I think pizza should be capitalized, but we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna move on. From your small office, you must watch the cameras. Can you survive five nights at Freddy's? It would have been clever if they capitalized that, but, um, I guess they're going for correct grammar. Yeah, see, down here, the pizza's capitalized. Got click team. Get on it. <laughs> Welcome to a new summer job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, where kids and parents alike come for entertainment and food, as far as the eye can see. The main attraction is Freddy Fazbear, of course, and his two friends. They are animatronic robots, programmed to please the crowds. The robots' behavior has become somewhat unpredictable at night, however, and it was much cheaper to hire you, <clears throat> that voice crack though, you as a security guard than to find a repairman. From your small office, you must watch the security cameras carefully. You have a very limited amount of electricity that you're allowed to use per night. Corporate budget cuts, you know how it is. That means when you run out of power for the night, no more security doors and no more lights. If something isn't right, namely a Freddy Bear, <laughs> Freddy Bear or his friends aren't in their proper places, you must find them on the monitors and protect yourself if needed. Can you survive? Five Nights at Freddy's. I like how they put Freddy Bear. <laughs> that's really, that's really funny. And then they have the Freddy that we've been seeing in the promotional art for the poets uh, pretty recently. FNAF 2 is exactly the same price and has the exact same release date. Again, there's no controls in the screenshots, so we're just gonna scroll past these. We'll still look at them, of course, but scrolling past them. TV mode, tabletop mode, handheld mode, all that stuff. Teen, save data cloud, simulation strategy, click team, uh, one player, 280 megabytes. Welcome back to the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Now with new friends to entertain kids and grown-ups alike. Again, they capitalize the pizza. In Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the old and aging animatronics are joined by a new cast of characters. They are kid-friendly, updated with the latest in facial recognition technology, tied into local criminal databases. 
and promise to put on a safe and entertaining show for the kids and grown-ups alike. They really like using the, the phrase kids and grown-ups alike, don't they? What could go wrong? As the new security guard working nights, your job is to monitor cameras and make sure nothing goes wrong after hours. The previous guard has complained about the characters trying to get into the office. He has since been moved to day shift. So to make your job easier, we've provided you with your very own empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on anytime and leave it on. It would have been so funny if they just had the phone guy call as the description. Which should fool the animatronic characters into leaving you alone if they should accidentally enter your office. No place to run and exactly one place to hide. Oh, that's that's a good callback. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll pull it up now. I think it's, yeah, right here. Oh, no place to run and exactly one place to hide. Oh, that's so good. Click team, you're awesome. As always, Freddy Fazbear is not responsible for death or dismemberment. And that is FNAF 2. Got a nice little Chica artwork here. Chica is looking very big. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Anyways, FNAF 3 is probably the best one that we can look at because it actually features controls and screenshots. Again, same price, same release date, the icon here. I didn't actually look at the icon, but it's right there. It always bothers me that you can't see the rest of Withered Freddy's body, but whatever, that, that really doesn't matter. We'll save the screenshots for last, uh, even though I've been hyping them up a lot. Childhood nightmare should remain in the past, but owners of the Fazbear's Fright, the horror attraction, are unwillingly, unwittingly bringing the terror back. Some people are saying that that's a reference to um, it being made just to kill William, which does make sense, so nice job, Click Team. 30 years after Freddy Fazbear's Pizza closed its doors, the events that took place there have become nothing more than a rumor and a childhood memory. But the owners of Fazbear's Fright, the horror attraction, are determined to revive the legend and make the experience as authentic as possible for patrons, going to great lengths to find anything that might have survived decades of neglect and ruin. At first, there were only empty shelves, a hand, a hook, an old paper plate doll. But then, a remarkable discovery was made. The attraction now has one animatronic. We found one. A real one. Anyway, tabletop mode, TV mode, handheld, it's all the same thing. 161 megabytes this time, so pretty small actually. Then we have the screenshots. This one doesn't have anything, surprisingly, but this one does. So, when you're in the cameras, to toggle the map, to go from the regular cameras to the vent cameras, you hit X on the switch, which, as a reference for y'all, is right here, up top. There we go, this is so much better. This is X right here. Right here. This is the, um, right Joy-Con. X is up top. I'm showing you guys this just in case you don't have a switch. And then to play the audio, you hit A. That's this little button right here. <laughs> it's a tutorial walkthrough, how to play the game. Here we have a great screenshot of a jump scare, and then we have the reset via all the systems. So there's no controls again, which is interesting. So um, maybe they just disappear after you've played the game a bit. Maybe it's like um, in FNAF 4 uh, on the PC when it gives you all the controls and the hints and all that stuff, and then you hit a certain button to get rid of them. That's what I'm guessing it's gonna be like. This is all the exact same, hit X to toggle the map. I've already showed you where A is, it's again right here, and that's how you seal a vent. And then this is the exact same, A to play audio, X to toggle the map. And that is basically, not basically, that just is all the stuff we need to cover. That's really it. So yeah. Jack Winrich, this is not a joke. Uh, thank you for helping me solve the case. Um, I do want to go through the comments actually because you guys have been absolutely incredible with the recent support on the um, the switch port screenshots. Even though that video is like three weeks old, I was absolutely amazed to find out that when you looked up Five Nights at Freddy's ports, and just that into Google, or not Google, sorry, onto YouTube, this was the first video to come up. And that's absolutely incredible. We don't even have 1K subs yet, guys, and that's the first video to come up. That's just insane. Thank you so much. And while all that support was being given to me, again, thank you guys so much, you guys had some interesting comments to, um, 
to leave. So I thought I'd go through a few of them and say what I think is going to be the case. Chaos Chaos says, I hope that we get console ports of FNAF 9 right when it releases so that everybody can play it. Now, well, we first need to figure out what FNAF 9 is. If you're talking about this game that's being teased on ScottGames.com right now, that's difficult to say because this is not being worked on by Scott. It's being worked on by Steel Wool, which is mostly why there's Vinny, um, or Vanny up there. I, I think it's Vanny. Um, so I feel like console port players are going to have to wait a bit for FNAF 9, just because, as far as we know, there's no linkage and bond between Steel Wool, Lionsgate, and Click Team. So maybe through a way of you know, communication, Scott can get the two to work together to get this game onto onto um, consoles and mobile, but I think when it initially releases, uh, it will unfortunately be a PC exclusive. Um, but, again, hopefully it gets ported over, we can only hope, but I'm, I'm sure it will. J5 Productions asks a, actually a really, really good question. This is really ex exiting. <clears throat> I think you mean exciting, but I have one question. Are the ports getting a physical release? And I uh, responded with Click Team have a have hinted at physical copies and maybe even a physical bundle of all the games, but nothing has been confirmed. And that is true. I'll, I'll pull it up right now. Tristan Mullins tweeted to Click Team saying, "Hey Click Team, any chance on a collab with Limited Run Games? I'm not entirely sure who those are. I'm sure they just make physical copies of um, different." types of games for different consoles, but I don't know who they are. For physical copies of FNAF on Switch, maybe even a bundle, and they were spotted with anything is possible. So again, not confirmed, but hinted at. So hopefully we do get to see that, because that'll be awesome. Imagine like walking into GameStop or Walmart and you see a bundle of all seven of the ported games. That would be incredible. It costs like 50 bucks or something crazy, but that would be insane. Denny Max says, why does he talk like that? Okay, well, I think we're done here. November the 29th. Mark your calendars. FNAF 1, 2, and 3 releasing on the Nintendo Switch on November 29th. $7.99 each. And that's a great price. Anyways, thanks everyone so much for watching. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I will play the ports just because I don't have a capture card that will allow me to take footage of what I'm doing on the Switch, but who knows, maybe I'll figure something out. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.